Hello Libra, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So uh, this is your general love reading for uh, May, we're going to take a look and uh, see what's showing up or who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course, and vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to um, jump ahead to the start of the reading, it is timestamped. So this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. So if you click in the description bar below, you'll see where it says start reading. Click on that. It will bring you to the uh, start. As I always say, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I didn't pick up on your story, stick around and sometimes, you know, sometimes there could be messages throughout that jump out and speak to you and of course use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality get them early. can we just take this in All right, so Libra, let's start your reading and of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip or switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. Okay. And of course, as I always say, you know, use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanted to go, because ultimately we, we create our own reality. All right. So you guys might can hear the smile behind my voice simply because i think this is a it's sweet this is a sweet reading and i'm going to explain why all right so you might not find it sweet at the moment but you know okay so just touching on the past there was some form of um opportunity to have a solution to something so the theme is was really about a solution to something and this person was bringing that solution so something definitely happened in this relationship or in this connection let's say that and this person was just trying to bring small offering or make small gestures uh maybe words of affirmation even um towards trying to mend something or fix something or make something okay still very much drawn towards you still a very much a, a pull towards you and not to say that you didn't feel the the attraction they have towards this person there's a strong attraction there but whatever happened was causing you to stress you know a lot of worry a lot of stress around whatever it is that came about and it seems like this person was trying to you know take control get the reins you know pull on or get hold of the reins there we go get hold of the reins and try and make things better just by doing small things those small gestures words of affirmation um just kind of, you know, doing what they, they, they feel they can. Again, it's while you're going through this period of, you know, worry and stress, it's that type of thing, which brings us to where we are at the moment, which it seems like this person is still putting in the work, but they've kind of notched it up a bit with the A, trying to mend this, trying to fix this, trying to make you feel a, a bit better, maybe trying to explain to you where they was coming from when it came to certain things or whatever happened. Um, but really putting in the effort. This person is focused on putting in work to make things okay. Where with yourself, you're, you're, you're just too busy. You're too busy caught up in, you know, what happened, what had happened. You know, it was a shock to you with the tower card there. Surprised you even. Maybe you found something out about this person that you didn't expect. Maybe, yeah, whatever it was, it shocked you most definitely. We've got the King of Cups there. And we've got the Judgment. So maybe you saw this person in a certain way, which is the, the King of Cups. And, you know, whatever it is kind of distorted that or shifted that perception of how you saw that. Which kind of now 
brings in your challenge. Your challenge is in, you're in this space of being indecisive. It's like, you know, am I, am I not? Am I going to, am I not? Can we, can we not? Do I want to? Should I, shouldn't I not? It's this indecisive back and forth, even, even hot and cold, I would go so far as to say as well, because you're just not process this enough or this person is not managed to you know fix this do enough to fix this and they're very much focused on that and they're very much aware that they've not done enough or they're not doing enough to get this to a place where you're able to maybe forgive them see them in a different light yeah their challenges, there's a lack of clarity around, around what? Yeah, around them, for them. But they're looking to protect this. The high priestess, yeah. Their challenge is this, this reckless energy. It's like maybe they're doing too much or they're moving too quick for your liking. It's this reckless knight of swords that I like to say. I like to say the knight of swords is a, a reckless type of energy because it's fast moving, excited, uh, still youngish way of thinking. It's that type of thing. Yeah, and that's you, the queen of wands. A bit reckless in handling you at the moment when it comes to that. Trying to give to this, not being able to penetrate, you know, the barriers that you've got up at the moment. And we've got the Eight of Swords, which talks about being trapped. What's interesting, though, is this. <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute. We've got that Tower card there. For you, you're very much still pulled towards them. There's still a draw towards them. There's still a, a strong attraction towards them. But it's like, I, I want this fixed. I want this fixed. I want this fixed. I don't want to feel like this anymore. I don't want to have to, you know process these types of emotions and go back and forth you know you caused it so i need you to fix this now this sticks in you know be careful what you ask for because this person what they're wanting is to come with something to that's going to shock you with that tower now you've got you've gotten shocked here but this is a different type of shock this is a shock a good shock <laughs> this is something that you know this person is coming with something that's going to really shake things up you know that they feel is gonna bring you guys back into a place where because currently there's an opportunity for this emotional fulfillment but bring you back into that place what is that what is that information <laughs> we've got the star card something that's gonna mend like the star card the star card talks about healing fixing mending you know feeding something so that's what that's going to do so let's continue this in part two of the reading and get it uh, let's see where this moves to guys a uh, link should be showing up on the screen as we speak so just click on part two um and then um i shall see you guys in a bit